Look, the children of the two sisters swear that they had nothing to do with the murder of that young boy. Apparently, after they found the body, they panicked and hid it. And one of the mums has obviously decided to uh, throw police off the scent. That's what you saw in that clip. So it, it got me thinking how far we would go to protect a child or a loved one, bearing in mind, Sinetra, mm. that... that if the parent decides to throw the police off the scent, that's actually legal. That's perverting the court of justice. Got to get that in, but what would you do? Well, I'd like to think that I would do the right thing, and we all like to think that, but if I genuinely tried to put myself in a very difficult situation... I mean, this is dramatically enhanced as well. We're talking murder. But if one of my loved ones, and particularly if it was one of my children at, at that age, I don't think I would do the right thing. I think I would protect... The word protect is part of my job as a mother, <laughs> and I would protect them from something that I wouldn't want them to go yeah. through. So, but that's protecting yeah. them. That's almost two wrongs don't make a right, because if you are protecting your child in that, you are also doing something illegal. But what, you're, what the question is, is would I throw him under the bus? And no, I wouldn't. I would hope that we could try and educate the situation so yeah. that he would never do that again. I don't know. The, tr the truth is, I wish I could say I would do the right thing. I mean, my mum, on the other hand, would do the right thing, which is maybe why I go the complete opposite way and <laughs> rebel <laughs> against it. She would literally say to the police, she's in there! <laughs> yeah, she Make them a lie. cup for her and then yeah, yeah, yeah. And put them way, in your direction. Way, yeah, because I think my mum was quite similar. I remember um, when my sister once um, stole, like, you know, the camera rolls, camera film that you put in the cameras, and we were in Woolworths, um, and she, she, took, she took one of the camera rolls, and we didn't realise, got home, um, uh, my mum took her out of the car and realised that she'd taken it, and my mum was incandescent with rage and marched her back down to the shop, made her give it back, made her apologise so that she could understand the difference between right and wrong, and, and she never did it again. I think my sister must have been about five or six or, or something at the time. And that, you know, in terms of making sure they understand what you can and cannot do legally, once you do it at that age, I think, you know, it's with you forever. Yeah, me, me too. I mean, with my children, I am the opposite to you, Sinitra. I was, I, and I, I totally get where you're coming from, but I just feel like you've got to lead by example in some ways. I don't get it right all the time, but in some ways. So when I, the children were little, Kaori, <laughs> she took um, some bubble gum from, we were shopping in a supermarket and it was at her height. So she took it and then I, got, I was in the car and I'm driving and I'm kind of in the back and I was like, what's that? And she was really enjoying it little herself. And I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I, well, I, she's like, I've got some chewing gum. I was like, well, where did you get that from? Because I didn't buy it. And she was like, oh, I took it from the shop. And I was like, sorry, you took it? So I literally parked the car, went back to the st store and asked to see the store manager. And went to the store manager, gave him a little wink and said, sort of say to play along. So I said, look, the store manager's really angry with you, Kaori. You, you might have to go to jail for what you did. And she was like... <laughs> And so, anyway, the store manager very nicely played along with me and said, look, Kate, you know, you've done a really naughty thing. You've taken something that doesn't belong to you. That's called stealing and this is what happens and these are the consequences. But, to be fair, it frightened both of them. Both of my children were there at the time and they would never dream of stealing anything because yeah, they yeah. just know the consequences is, is you know, mm. is, is going to jail. And they were like, no, I don't, I don't want any, any part of yeah. that. So, yeah. for me, it was about scare tactics. And, and I think that if you, if you do whatever you get away with, if you get away with it, you know you don't really know that it's wrong, exactly. and you do it again. Yeah, yeah. And I and I just think nothing good can come out of covering things up and lying, even for children, because one day it's going to come out, and mm. and then it will be worse. You know, and you can always kind of work out why things have happened. Yeah, yeah. And and I think you're right. The shame, the kind of shame thing. I know people don't do shame anymore, but but shame and fear, I think in children is not always a bad thing because I got caught shoplifting when I was young. It, it was like a bit of a shoplifting spree, actually. And we got caught in the shop, very wow. famous shop, on the high street that's not there anymore. Um, and uh, the police came round to our house, right, and, and was out, the police car was outside our house. And, and the, the shame of that in those days, it was the 70s, it was just so horrific. And I remember the policeman sitting there, my mum's in tears, the dinner's ruined, everything. <laughs> and uh, the policeman said to me, he was basically threatening me, say I was writing this statement. He said, um, well, you know, you're going to get a criminal record and you'll never be able to work. You'll never be oh, able to work. You'll never wow. be able to do anything. 
13, 12, 13, I, d I can't remember. Did it stop you? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, never in, my, in my tracks, in my tracks. I mean, I, I'm, I'd never break the law, ever. Well, I might do it unintentionally. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. And it did, it scared the yeah. people of me. So and I it was think... the shame, wasn't it? Yeah. It, it was the mm. shame, really, yeah, because seeing my mum feeling so ashamed Upset. for having a police yeah. car outside the house, that was the worst mm. thing. Yeah. But yeah. for me, it was... It was the fear as well and everything. Yeah. I thought, I'm never going to never, never gonna do, do anything like that again. And, yeah. and I I'm really pleased you're here and not banged up, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> right.